And not all Easter celebrations in Philadelphia are religious. Eyewitness News reporter Dan Koob takes us to South Street for the annual Easter promenade. It's one of Philly's oldest Easter traditions. Give a kid a piece of candy or for people to look at me and put a smile on someone's face. I know I did a good job. The city's holiday promenade pranced down South Street, settling in Headhouse Square, where princesses and flute players alike could congregate. It's the 88th year for the promenade, which featured plenty of bunnies, bunny ears, and a vote for the best hat, which we may have found. Some candy up in there somewhere, and I'm, uh, you know, I'm six foot three, so this really, really puts me way, way, way up there. Terry Zell moved to town from New York and was inspired by their Easter Day hat making tradition to dress up his own rendition. And so we do this every year. We, they always look different every year, but it always makes kids laugh and smile, and it's uh, some innocent fun. Speaking of. The reviews of the day are in from our pint-sized panel. Pen. About a hundred. Out of a hundred? Yeah. All adding up to a fun afternoon for families from all over. There's so much chaos that's happening in this world. And so for a time like this, for a few hours, all the families come together, all different uh, races and, and uh, different stations in their life, and they come together for some, some innocent fun. In Headhouse Square, Dan Koob, CBS3 Eyewitness News.